What's happening, everybody? It's Mike from the Hardcover Comic here, and today I wanted to take a look at another DC custom bind that I have got. Um, this is Batgirl by Brian Q. Miller. Um, it's a book that, you know, I, I sort of went blind on. Um, I, I just bought the trade paperbacks. I kept hearing stuff about this run, how great it is, how awesome it is, you should check it out, all that stuff. So I just bought the trade paperbacks, had it bound without even reading it, and, um, and here we are. Before I talk about the series, I will talk about the book, so let's just take a look. This is a dust jacket I did myself. Um, this was a lot of fun to do. I loved, obviously, the purple aesthetic. Very fun spine there, just put by Brian Q. Miller. There's the back. And then just the inner flaps here. Just some Stephanie Brown Batgirl love. Um, so as for the series itself, I'm just going to take the dust jacket off here one second. All right. Um, so there's the spine. It wasn't the kind of purple I was hoping for. Um, honestly, it didn't turn out to be the kind of purple I wanted. But uh, you can't win them all, as they say. Um, but yeah, so as for the series itself, um, I forget how many issues it was exactly. I believe it was in, in the 20 range. Um, there's a, a variety of artists that works on it. Uh, we can look here. Lee Garbett, Trevor Scott, Sandra Ho, Perry Perez, Jonathan Glapian. You know, a whole bunch of artists that work on it. Brian Q. Miller writes the whole thing. Um, the artwork's really nice throughout. It's consistent, um, which is obviously a great thing. Um, and, you know, you get to see um, Stephanie Brown take, in the, uh, take up the role of Batgirl, um, you know, while she's trying to hide it from her mother. Um, she's trying to hide it from, uh, you know, Barbara Gordon as well, pretty much telling her you shouldn't be doing this. And, of course, she doesn't start off with a purple aesthetic. She starts off in sort of a, a Cassandra Cain like costume and uh, makes her way, you know, to the purple outfit eventually. But... What's great about this is, is you know, she's she's been spoiler in the past as well, and we see someone else take it's. There's a lot going on in this series, and of course, you you are also dealing with her being a teenage girl. Um, I believe she's uh, dating um, Tim Drake at this time as well. It's great seeing her and Damian uh, Damian Wayne interact as well. Um, they, you know, it's it's great seeing their relationship evolve throughout the series as well. So that's that's one of the great things is um, Stephanie Brown. Her personality is, you know, she can be she can be tough, but um, she's she's playful. She's you know she's dedicated to what she's doing, and, uh, and and she's a tough character. You know, you really get to to grow to like Stephanie Brown and uh, you know feel for her situation, and uh, just become a, a fan of the character herself. Um, she's, you know, a, a great Batgirl. She's a great member of the Bat family and continues to be, right, in, in current continuity as well. So, I mean, you know, from a, a character-building perspective, I believe this is one of the runs that really made Stephanie Brown, you know, a, a fan favorite. And, you know, maybe without that, who, who knows what might have happened with the character, right? Um, you know, characters come and go depending on their popularity. But as you can see, there's there's really consistent artwork. Um, it's all, you know, really fits the, the style and the theme of the book. Um, you do get to see, you know, a lot of different members uh, start coming in to help out as well. So th there are some new, um, some new faces in the Bat family. Of course, we get to see villains we've seen in the past, um, some smaller ones as well. Of course, Stephanie Brown's uh, father is a, is a villain as well, Clue Master. So there's, you know, a lot going on. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty lengthy run. Um, like I said, you get a lot of um, a lot of variety in the storylines, a lot of storylines in general. And, um, yeah, I had a really good time with it. I'm glad I picked it up. It was a, a definitely a blind purchase that I do not regret whatsoever. Um, a really, really fun time, and I highly recommend people check it out. This was a great issue. Again, seeing seeing Stephanie Brown interact with all these characters is uh, is a lot of the fun. There's just got a little Clarion arc there, um, so it's it's really great. I highly recommend you guys check this run out. I'd be shocked if it ever got an omnibus. I'm kind of, you know, I, I'm glad DC was able to finish off these trades because you know they didn't finish off the Cassandra Kane ones, which uh, I was really looking forward to. Um, 
and you know, it's it's at least we got the Brian Q. Miller run in trade paperback format. I'd be shocked again if it ever got an official release in hardcover. So um, grab your trade paperbacks while you can and and enjoy. It's a great time. Um, let me know if you guys have read the series, what you thought of it. Um, you know, if if you agree with me, if you disagree. Um, you know, who's your favorite pack girl for that matter? There have been a whole bunch of them. And uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. As always, until next time, you stay classy, Internet.